Okay, I'm outside here recording with the Infuse 4G for Rogers and um, there seems to be a very com common problem with this phone that if you're running Android Gingerbread your, your phone will record at 720p but at 15 frames per second and uh, before I show you how to fix that problem I just wanted to show you the comparison between 15 frames per second and 30 frames per second so here's some fast motion recording slow motion and objects moving while I'm stationary so what I'm going to do right now is actually fix up the problem while I'm here on the street because it's actually that easy it's a simple matter of copying and pasting uh, four files so let me show you what look this exact same spot looks like while I'm in uh, 30 frames per second recording Okay, I'm back in the exact same spot, and in a couple of minutes, I'll do this copy and paste the files, restart the phone, and it's working great. This is at 30 frames per second recording now, and as you can see, even when I'm like shifting around really fast, the difference is like day and night. It's way smoother, and um, I'm not sure who's to blame for the problem. Most likely, it's Samsung. Sorry, I have to let that truck pass, it's too noisy. Most likely Samsung is to blame for the problem because some AT&T users have uh, reported this issue. But it's extremely common for Rogers users, especially because I got this Infuse 4G with gingerbread already pre-installed out of the box. So even in slow recording, uh, stationary, and even fast motion, you'll notice that the difference is huge, like day and night, as I said. So let's get straight into how to fix this problem like I said it's a simple matter of copying pasting four files and that's it okay before I show you how to fix this uh, frames per second issue I just want to apologize for the noisy clips that I had earlier but when displaying frames per second quality it's best to record fast moving objects and in my case it was cars which you know were outside um, this method I can confirm that it works for the stock Rogers ROM so if you just got your phone the Infuse 4G straight from Rogers and you want to get it done I can confirm that it works for you this also works for the Infused custom ROM I believe it works for AT&T stock ROM users I can't confirm because I don't have an AT&T device uh, what else you, your phone must be rooted if you're not sure how to root your Infuse it'll be posted right here but that method is only for uh, Rogers users, so I apologize to AT&T users. If you're if you're running any other type of custom ROM, including CyanogenMod, this method is known to not work. You're gonna have to do it a different way. So sorry about that. Furthermore, I am not the developer of this fix. Um, the post, which I'll be putting in the description, the author is Eric and Angel, and I believe that even this person is not. They don't take credit for this fix. They give credit to Jet56 and GTG. So if you have a problem, post in here. Don't ask me. Don't post in the YouTube description or wherever this video is posted. I can't help you because I'm not the developer. I'm just showing you how to do it. Um, and even in this thread, they may refer you to Jet56 and GTG, like I said. Uh, you must have Samsung keys installed on your computer to make the drivers work. And... Let's just get straight into it. I think that's it. Your phone must be rooted. Make sure you have a cust the stock ROM. Can't think of anything else because it's fairly easy. So in this post, you're going to go down to where there's attached files and download the zip file. It's really small. Please excuse my camera with focus, but I'll make sure you can keep along. You can like see what's going on. No, I don't want to buy. Thanks. Extract. You're going to extract these files to your phone, so make sure your phone is connected to your computer. And within the SD card, I just made a folder called, where the heck is it, Camera Fix. You can name it whatever you want. Extract it into that folder. Okay. Close everything up. Disconnect your phone from the computer. <clears throat> Okay, I'll disconnect the phone. Alright, media scanning, yeah, 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 whatever. Uh, while it's doing that, make sure that you have uh, 
an app that allows you to modify files within the phone. In my example, I use Root Explorer. It's a superb app. It's it's really amazing. And what you're gonna do is open it up, and it's gonna list a whole bunch of directories as to where you can go. And if you want to access the SD card, it's obviously under SD card. But first, what we want to do is get rid of the original files. And uh, what we're gonna do is go into System. Then there's a folder called Lib. Now, like I said, I'm using Root Explorer, so what you need to do is tap this part here if it'll focus. There, Mount RW. You want to make sure it's like that. And at the top here in the black and white writing, it should say R slash W in the small lowercase letters. If that's not on, this won't work. And then you're going to press the menu button, multi select. Okay, so from the lib folder, what you want to do is copy. Uh, or move rather three specific files library camera dot so library camera underscore client dot so library camera service dot so um, let me just make sure if you need to pause the video right here make sure you get only these three files do not touch anything else if you mess this up you're doing it at your own risk I can't see how you can because it's so easy but like I said I won't take any responsibility for it so once you have these three File selected, you're gonna select move, go back, uh, hit SD card. You can paste it anywhere here. I usually tend to paste these files in the DCIM folder. This is where your pictures usually are. And these are the original files. The reason I'm uh, saving them is because in case something goes wrong, I can always put them back, right? So it's better safe than sorry. Now we want to get the modified files that will fix everything. So you're going to go to where you extracted those files, which in my case is camera fix. Hit the menu button, multi-select, select all, move. Go back to the root directory. Go to, is it system? Lib. Paste. And it should be there. Where the heck are it? There you go. Lib camera does so, lib camera client does so, lib camera firmware where jinnin, however you say it does so, lib camera service does so. So I removed three files, but in order to fix the frames per second recording problem, you're gonna instead put in here four different files, right? So that's all you do, and from here all you do is restart your phone and you should have 30 frames per second recording. So like I said, if you have any problems, um, please do not contact me because I most likely will not be able to fix you because I'm not the developer. And as you can see, it's just simple. You need root and make sure you're running the stock ROM, preferably for Rogers. AT&T I, users, I suggest you do some research first um, because I am running the Rogers version. And with that said, if you found this video useful, subscribe to my channel. Check out my website for technology news and rumors. And thanks for watching.